Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Pioneer with Ponsole with me, Kevin Ponsole, K Pons MTG on Twitch. Come say hi if you haven't already. Streaming a lot of magic these days. I uh, hope you're doing well. Hopefully the COVID passes over and we're not stuck in this for too much longer. But uh, for now, we're playing some Is It Prowess. And we've got four lands in this hand, so we're going to mulligan. We're on the draw here. Uh, we're going to keep this one. And I think I'm going to bottom the Storm Chaser Mage. We already have a lot of prowess creatures, and our, our other ones only cost one. So the idea here is um, it's kind of going to play out similar to a mono red prowess deck, except for we're adding blue for Curious Obsession and Storm Chaser Mage, and also Treasure Cruise. Looks like our opponent's doing a similar thing to us. Um, kind of want to just shock theirs, although that's probably... Eh, yeah, I think I'm just going to shock theirs. Yeah, let's just play control on the draw here. Looks like they're mono red, probably. Yeah, with Steamkin. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to play Swiss Spear and just attack. Since we're not blocking next turn anyway, I'd rather play the Swift Spear than the Soul Scar Mage. Also, I don't really want to put a, a Curious Obsession on Soul Scar Mage because Soul Scar Mage has other text. Whereas Swift Spear is just a haste creature. Yeah, I'm just going to throw it on there. The opponent missed their land drop, but we've missed both of our land drops. After turn one. Oops. Draw that card. Didn't draw land. All right. Things are going to get out of hand pretty quickly here with these Steamkins. Hopefully not too out of hand. We know our opponent's hand is all spells. So, yeah, it's going to be tough here. They're likely going to have a couple of 4-4s four slash empty their whole hand. Yeah. They're just going to bash for 7, 8, 9. And then potentially just kill us. With the other three cards in their hand. Because they have six more mana here minimum. So sick. Steamkin really just gets out of hand real fast. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. There's not really much we can do with one land. Alright, so... We want to be able to kill their Steamkins and their creatures in general. So I think we want all the removal. We certainly want the Aethersphere Harvesters. And I don't really like Curious Obsession. <clears throat> I don't really like Curious Obsession that much in this matchup. Or Treasure Cruise. Um, or really light up the stage that much either. I think we just want to be Killing their stuff and attacking. So let's try that. Yep, we got one, two removal spells and three prowess creatures and two lands. That's pretty perfect. Let's keep that one. Kind of rough that our lands are both going to deal us two damage because, I mean, they're basically a burn deck. Slashed our guy. Going 
going to play Dread Horde first. Just the the possibility of like blowing them out with one removal spell is so powerful. They do have the lightning strike for it. All right. Fair enough. Hopefully they don't have another lightning strike for this because then we're out of dudes. And then we're going to just be cycling crash through. So we're only playing 18 lands because we're playing four crash through, four opt, and two light up the stage, um, which all can kind of like help us find lands even when we're kind of low. I'm going to start with a crash through here, see if we can hit that land and maybe play the second storm chaser mage right now. We did. Let's do that. Get him for three. Not a huge turn, but we uh, we did the thing we wanted to do, which was keep applying pressure and be ready for a big turn next turn. Feeling pretty good about our chances here, unless our opponent has a pretty powerful spell. Oh, well, they're gonna double spell to kill one storm chaser. That's okay. It's not ideal, but um, I'm okay with that. Lead with the crash through again, see if we can find another creature. Find another land. Um, yeah, let's crash through one more time. See if we can find a creature. All right, well that counts. That counts. It doesn't crew itself, so it's not technically a creature, but it's very good. We're going to shock the uh, runaway steamkin, but we can do that on our turn to uh, get some more prowess triggers. And yeah, I want to play Arcanist. And I also want to Reckless Rage that and this. We're going to take two here. That's okay. And they're going to take three. I'm Storm Chaser. Next turn we have Dread Horde. Recast any of these spells if they don't have another removal spell. And backup plan, Ether Sphere Harvester seems pretty good. Wild Slash Me, light up the stage, yep. Lightning Strike, killing the Arcanist, that's pretty big. That was a good hit for them. And last card in hand, another Lightning Strike? Oh, game on. Game on. Okay. When it came to jam, just like we did, they're just going to sacrifice Ramanap Ruins here. And we bricked. So we're taking two. They might just have a uh, removal spell in hand. They didn't crack Ramanap Ruins, so that's interesting. I wonder what that's about. All right, so we have them at four. Basically, kind of want to just cast Wizard's Lightning, but that's probably wrong. Um, no, I'm just gonna do it. Eh, no. All right, I guess Treasure Cruise would be pretty good here. I didn't really expect us to get to a top deck situation. gonna abrade this oops because this one can't go face now they're at two they 
They still don't want to crack their ramen at Bruins. That's weird to me. All right, I mean, they're at two. They might have an abrade, but I'm just gonna try and kill them here. Yeah. Oh, didn't mean that one. I meant to, I mean, uh, crew it. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay. Didn't really matter that we misclicked there, but yeah. All right, so Treasure Cruise would have actually been kind of good. So I wonder about that. Not sure what I would cut for it. No, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna put it in. Um, I think we're just gonna leave it how it was. Just all the removal, all the cheap dudes, and the Ethersphere harvesters. Um, huh? On the draw, no removal in this hand, but we do have an opt and a harvester. Harvester is like the best card in the matchup by a fair margin, but we do need removal pretty bad. And this hand has four lands. I think we can do a little better. All right, this is two pieces of removal plus a harvester. So we're going to keep this. And I'm actually going to bottom the opt. Although it's a little awkward, we have to play that Sulphur Falls tapped. Unless we find an island or a mountain. I mean, really, it's just mountains. So if we play the Soul Scar now, they're likely to shock it, but that's okay. We'll let it happen. No, no shock. All right. Stomp. You got the stomp. You do got the stomp. All right, stomp is bad for us because... We don't have a good answer to the 4-3 at the moment. I mean, our 3-5 flyer works, but we did draw the mountain, which is really nice, so that we can curve out here rather than playing uh, tap land this turn. Lightning strike our dude, all right. Fair enough. Not ideal. Um, if they keep us off the board, we can't really win. But if we find creatures here, Ether Sphere Harvester should beat them beat them up pretty good. We can we can also double shock Bone Crusher. It doesn't feel good to do that. I really don't want to. Really don't want to double shock this Bone Crusher, but might have to at this point. Oof, yeah, this is quite bad. That land off the top was certainly not what we wanted. Really don't want to double shock this bone crusher here. Oof. I'm going to, we do have uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist that can uh, get these spells back. So there's that. Obviously taking four to use two cards to kill their four, three that already killed a card of ours is kind of like a three for one. Like they kind of three for one us with that Bone Crusher Giant. I mean, four for one even. Yeah, that was a four for one. Bone Crusher Giant destroyed us here. But, I mean, we kind of had to do it. We do have card draw in our deck, so we're actually supposed to play this mountain, I think. Hopefully they don't have enough braid. Storm Chaser was a pretty good draw, though.
Yeah, I'm just gonna show them the land. They only have two cards in hand, so that's good. They didn't do anything with their mana, so that's also a good sign. I know why Steamkin is a problem. They were probably holding that back. Lava Coil, oof. All right, so we're going to 14. They have a 2-2 Steamkin. We're gonna need to top deck, otherwise we're dead pretty soon. Let's find something decent. Nope. All right. Um, we could whiff one time as long as they whiff here. Go to 11. Nothing. All right. All right. I guess if we're just going to... Yeah, they're going to actually activate Ramonap Ruins this time. That makes sense. I was really surprised that they didn't in game one. Oof. I think we're just dead. If that hits anything, we're just dead. Literally any spell. Actually, I don't really think we can come back from this anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, we got destroyed by Bone Crusher Giant. It's possible we should be playing Bone Crusher Giant. All right, welcome to round two. And we're on the draw with another one lander. Um, we're only playing 18 lands, so it's kind of normal to have a one lander. Um, I think we can do a little bit better than this. It's not bad, but it's a lot of creatures and not a lot of spells. And only one land, so we're, we're gonna mulligan looking for a slightly better one. Yeah, I like this one better. And I don't think we need a second Swift Spear. Well, hmm. so turn one Swift Spear, turn two Arcanist, turn three Wild Slash, Opt, Wild Slash. Yeah, let's bottom one of the Swift Spears. I think it's close though. It, it is really nice to have multiple prowess one twos when you're getting Dreadhorde Arcanist online, but if we kept both Swift Spears, then we're gonna probably bottom a spell, which is also not great when we're trying to do Arcanist things and prowess things. So I, I think it was correct, but it's close. Opponent's playing um, probably Feather, it looks like. I just want to wild slash that. If they're playing feather, they're gonna have like protection spells later, and I, I want to get that wild slash off the out of our hand while they're tapped out, basically. Phone's only got three cards in hand. And is casting 10th District Legionnaire. Well, hopefully we draw another shock here. Wizard's Lightning, who almost can cast that, but we have Swift Spear, which is a monk, whereas Soulscar Mage is a wizard. Um, we could opt looking for a shock, but it only goes two cards deep. So it's probably better to just play the Arcanist so we can definitely cast Wizard's Lightning next turn and Wild Slash, or potentially two, well, I guess it's just Wizard's Lightning, Wild Slash. So we have a pretty high likelihood of, of killing 10th District Legion Legionnaire on the following turn. The problem with this is if they have Reckless Rage, they can pop our Dreadhorde Arcanist and pump their Legionnaire, and then also hold up God's Willing. So that could be problematic. Yeah, they're attacking, makes sense. Certainly can't block.
Tauros Charm. Give me a double strike. Wow. Okay. So we're going to take six here. That's totally fine with me. Well, ooh, they had the gods willing, probably. I'm gonna cast Opt first. Soul Scar Mage. Soul Scar Mage does chump block. They have one card left in hand. I kind of want just a land here. Drew another Soul Scar Mage. All right, let's go for the Wizard's Lightning. They're going to have the God's Willing most likely, or actually. They might not, but if they if they have just any spell, then we can uh, attack and wild slash it. No, oh, it's just gonna die. Okay, I guess we'll just opt again then, looking for a land. Why did they play that untapped? Just to scare me. I think they just played it untapped to scare me. Wizard's Lightning is really good. I'd much rather have a land here, but... Um, yeah, I'd, I'd much rather have a land. Let's just find a land. All right. We do have to kill them at some point, so I was trying to get a prowess creature into play. Treasure Cruise doesn't play super well with Arcanist exiling cards, but... Alright, alright. Legionnaire not attacking. Legionnaire on defense here. Let's get Soul Scar Mage out there. Let's get Swiss Spear out there. Let's cast Opt. Um, uh, yeah. Ooh, I didn't attack with Swiss Spear. I really meant to attack with Swiss Spear there. That was really bad. That was a big punt. I just clicked through that phase of the turn. Looks like we're so far ahead that it's probably not going to matter, but that was a big time bad move. Yeah. Oh, God's Willing. All right. So they're going to eat our Dread Horde Arcanist. They must have just drew the God's Willing. I don't know why they wouldn't have cast it last turn. That's weird, actually. That's fine. Obviously, it would have been nice to get in for three here, but... That's fine. Whoops. Yeah, I just clicked too fast there. It happens on these... Uh online clients obviously you would never forget to it well i guess you could forget to attack with swiss spear and paper magic but much less likely that you're gonna not attack with your haste creature they didn't block what <laughs> okay opponent's uh letting us get away with it here and not blocking 
Seems absurd. I'm not gonna block. I guess potentially we could die, but they would need to Defiant Strike into Defiant Strike into something else with that. So felt pretty good about it. Wait, can we just kill them? So if we shock them three times, attack. Yeah, I think shocking them three times and attacking wins. By a lot here. We kill their creature, they're also pretty dead, but not actually dead. Splits them to dead. All right. We got to do one of our fun turns with the Arcanists and the Prowess creatures, which, I mean, this deck, the only creatures in it are Arcanists and Prowess creatures. Um, outside of the two sideboard Scab Clan Berserkers. Um, and I guess technically Aether Sphere Harvester turns into a creature you crew it um so i don't like treasure crews very much here and i do like all the removal um curious obsession doesn't seem that bad in this matchup it might be better than light up the stage On the draw. Light of the stage is kind of bad on the draw. Let's let's leave one let's leave two curious obsessions in and uh, take out both light of the stages. Curious obsession is also a little bit worse on the draw, but not as bad as light up can be. Like curious obsession is usually gonna be one more damage. Two more damage with a prowess creature and a card. Uh, Wild Slash is going to be two cards for one mana, but only one mana if we can get damage in that turn, which is not guaranteed against a creature deck on the draw. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep this hand here going into game two. gonna cycle a crash through could hold up a shock we have three crash throughs now and I just kind of want to find some some more action and holding up shock is not that great like if they're gonna play the 10th district legionnaire we can just shock it on our turn and we found a soul scar mage which is great but I played another land tap should pass the turn that means um they've Probably got Feather, which Arcanist is pretty good against. Or they're just waiting to be able to Reckless Rage and 10th District in one turn, which makes sense. But we're going to lead with Arcanist here. Because they can't shock it. I mean, they can shock it, but they can't kill it. On their turn... Or I mean on our turn. And now on their turn they could have the Reckless Rage. Which they try to tap for something on our turn. So that it's possible they have Reckless Rage here. Um, Goblin Rabble Master. Interesting. That's not very good here at all for our opponent. It's actually quite bad.
So yeah, I'm gonna play Soul Scar Mage and Shock. We don't really need to shock the Rabble Master right now. I mean, we could just play two Soul Scar Mages and attack and cast Crash through, but I think it's better to shock. We certainly don't need to shock it right now, but if they don't have creatures, their deck just doesn't do as much. And if next turn they have God's Willing, it's kind of bad for us. Um, we're going to attack and just draw a card with Crash Through. Just free value here. Dreadlord Arcanist is honestly one of the better cards in Pioneer that doesn't see a lot of play. The card is really powerful. Um, unchecked, it just does a lot every turn. Like We just used it as a Phyrexian Arena, and we drew the land, so now we get to uh, play our second Soul Scar post-combat. And probably cruise to victory from here. Dreadlord Arcanist is very powerful. So maybe Feather here. And they waited to cast it because they wanted four lands. No, they have their own Arcanist. They might have God's Willing. Reckless Rage down ours. Okay. Fair enough. Let's crash through a little bit. It looks like we drew all four of our crash throughs this game. Crash through some more. Looks like our opponent is contemplating doing something in response. They might have another Reckless Rage. They do. Guess we'll Wild Slash here. It was pretty well timed, I guess, from our opponent. Although I guess they should have done it on their turn. Yeah, well, no, they couldn't have because it would have killed their guy. But they have one card left. Uh, we have one threat plus another redraw here, or another two redraws. Getting a little flooded, but um, our opponent's at 13, and we have an opt plus a threat, and they just have the card they drew for turn and one card that they already had. So I'm feeling pretty good. They're going to cast Titan Strength on our Soul Scar Mage to scry. That's always a good sign. And they're going to scoop. All right. All right. Welcome to round three. We are one and one. We just beat Feather. And we got another four lander here with double soul scar. Curious obsession. On the play, I'd be tempted to keep this in case they're just not a shock deck and we just run away with the game with a curious obsession on a soul scar. Um, but because we're not on the play, I'm going to mulligan because this is a little too slow. It has too many lands. I mean, double soul scar is nice. Um, this honestly, this might be good. It just depends on our matchup, and four lands is just a little too many. If this was three lands, and like one of these lands was any other spell, any spell on our deck, I think I'd keep it. But all right, yeah, let's keep this one. Um, two storm chaser mage is kind of a lot, but also two shock might be more than we want. I'm gonna drop a storm chaser mage. The shocks we're going to need to trigger prowess on Soulscar Mage and Storm Chaser Mage. Thought Seize, okay. So this is either Demir Inverter, Mono Black Aggro, 
or um, Sultai, probably. They took Storm Chaser Mage, so that means potentially they have a way to deal with Soulscar Mage since they didn't care to kill it. Jace Fringe Prodigy into Double Shock? Okay. That's cool with me. I'm surprised. But I'm not mad at it. So it's an inverter. Um, I don't think they had the fatal push. Otherwise, they would have cast it there. So I'm going with the Curious Obsession. I'm going to draw that card. That's looking good. That's looking good. Here's Downfall. All right. So I guess they did have a removal spell, but they probably should have taken the Soulscar Mage rather than the Storm Chaser Mage because Soulscar Mage actually attacked on the turn after. So it was kind of weird, but um, yeah, I'm just going to play Arcanist here. This is kind of a bad spot if they have Inverter plus Thassa's Oracle or something. Another downfall. All right. That's fine. Let's get in there for two. Opponent's stuck on three lands. Inverter's pretty bad for us, though. They just have it. Well, they missed their land drop again. They found it, though. With the opt, they found a fatal push, too. Huh. I have to assume they just drew that fatal push. That was quite good of... That was quite good for them to have three removal spells this game. They only have six in their main deck, generally. Well, let's go for it. I think I probably just shock here. But, eh, maybe not. It's three damage if they kill this. I mean, they have to be out of removal spells now, right? They, they cast two downfalls and a fatal push. I could wait with the shock, I think. See if we draw a creature that we can cast. Wizard's Lightning, all right. So if we had shock, they'd be at five. Yeah. Casting Dig Through Time, looking for a Fatal Push, probably. Yeah, I guess we should have shocked. I guess we should have figured they're going to do something like this. We missed out on one point of damage, not shocking in combat there. I mean, obviously, knowing that they're going to Dig Through Time. Oh, they're just going to Scoop. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, yeah, probably should have should have shocked in combat, but I don't know. Uh, so mystical dispute, disdainful stroke, and not sure about spell pierce, but we certainly want disdainful stroke and double mystical dispute. Um, they are a fatal push deck, and we're on the draw, so I don't really like curious obsession. And outside of that, I, th I think we do want Treasure Cruise. Yeah, it seems kind of good. Let's just do it like that. We might want the two spell pierces over like light up the stage or something. 
I guess countering Jays is kind of a big deal. Um, yeah, we'll keep that one. We'll drop the Shivan Reef. Not that our life total matters a ton, but we're also unlikely to cast more than one blue spell in a turn. I want to kind of snap kept there. Thoughts even no. Fatal push. Yeah, they're just going to push it. Sure. Arcanist, go. Legion's end. No, that's his oracle. Thassa's Oracle. And they missed their land drop, but they're going to make their land drop next turn. Um, do you want to opt here? I also want to hold up Mystical Dispute. So we could just we could just like kill the Thassa's Oracle. We can double opt and maybe find another blue source. Um, Alright. Let's attack. Cast opt. And wild slash. Um, yeah, that, that represents four damage, so we probably want that. I guess we'll just shock it. Not sure if we cast Crash through here or not. Probably. Just cycle. That is another blue source. It comes into play tapped, unfortunately. Let us untap. Oh, they're not going to let us go to combat. Drown in the lock. I think it's correct to dispute that. It's our only threat, and we really need to be drawing cards and doing things here. Cast that crash through. Draw another wild slash. Cool. Obviously not putting on a ton of pressure because we don't have any prowess creatures, but we're digging for them pretty well. And presumably our, our opponent put a land on top last turn, so they're likely to, well, not likely to miss, but some percentage to miss there. Kind of want to just wild slash them. But it's probably better not to. Yeah. We'll wait for a prowess creature. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's opt. Uh, 
Um, so this turn we want to play Soul Scar Mage and hold up Disdainful Stroke. We don't really need that then. Cool, so we're going to attack. Flashback opt if we get an attack step. Cast down. All right. Fair enough. Dreadhorde Argonist did its job here. We uh, certainly found the things that we needed. And we're just going to hold up stroke. Whatever they cast here, we're going to counter. Ooh. Can't counter that one. Cannot counter that one. Legion's end. Uh oh. Huh. So if we shock Narset. We might just draw land. Let's see what we get. Opt. I don't think they have a fatal push. I think they would have cast it already. So, just going to cast two wild slashes and swing at them and Narset. Because they're likely to Legion's end next turn. Alternatively, we could have put them to nine if we just put Narset to one. But we do have things that draw cards in our deck, like Opt. <laughs> so it's nice to get Narset off the board. Opt and uh, crash through. Draw the Razor. All right. Took Opt. I guess that buys them time. Probably should play the land, but I'm not going to, hoping that they thought sees me here. And then Narset. Uh, yuck. I'm surprised they leave Narset in against me. That seems really slow. But they found another Legion's End, so that's pretty good. Huh. Well, this is a bad spot because they're drawing another card off Narset. They found a fatal push. Oof. That's good though because now we get Narset to one and they don't get to draw another card off of it. So that actually kind of worked out for us, but they're going to Legion's End it next turn. And they still have three cards left over. And all we have is, is Disdainful Stroke. And they're still at nine. So we're in a really bad spot. I don't expect to win this game. They're going to on my upkeep crack Fabled Passage. Can't imagine that that makes any sense. But why not? Um, let's just go for Narset, get her off the board. We do have cards like Crash Through that just don't have text if uh, Narset's still on the board. So I guess that's why they left Narset in. That It does make sense. I, I take back what I said about Narset being kind of weird. So they're going to cast Dig Through Time. We're going to Disdainful Stroke it. They know that. 
but they're still gonna do it, it looks like. They probably have another dig through time, is what I would imagine is their last card. Or Jace, okay. Targeted me. I'm gonna kill the Jace. I mean, if they didn't find a, a fatal push. Chase down, that's good. Obviously them just having a 6-6 six, six flyer here is bad for us. Another Jace, damn it. <laughs> that's strong, that's strong. And they found a fatal push, so that's really bad. All right. Well, had I known they were gonna draw another Jace, I certainly wouldn't have pointed that Wizard's Lightning at Jace. But what can you do? They play four of them, right? Yeah, maybe I was supposed to go face. We do have a lot of shocks in our deck. We would have put them to four. And then just hope to kill them before they find it. Yeah, I kind of do regret that. I think going face would have been better. It just was too juicy to be able to kill the Jays. Too juicy. Yeah, can't imagine we win from here. They're drawing like three cards a turn. They just found a dig through time. They're drawing seven cards a turn. The best of the top 12 or whatever. Yeah, this is certainly not going to go our way. I'm just going to go ahead and go to game three. Uh, it does kind of seem like Treasure Cruise is good, but I think one is better than two. Um, on the play, Curious Obsession is probably a little bit better, but I still don't really want it. I think Spell Pierce could be good. Spell Pierce might be better than Crash Through. Because of Narset. Yeah, I think I do want the Spell Pierces for sure. Um, yeah, other than that, let's just run it. Sand is not ideal, but we're gonna keep. We only have one threat, which is certainly not great, but. Oops. Spell Pierce. I want that. Certainly don't want to play the Storm Chaser Mage without holding Spell Pierce up if we can help it. Now I'm fine with playing the Storm Chaser and attacking. They're gonna Fatal Push, we're gonna Spell Pierce. Get in for two. They likely have another removal spell for our Storm Chaser, but hopefully they don't.
looks like maybe they don't. Cast that light up the stage. Nice, nice. Um, so if they play a four mana spell next turn on Jace or Inverter, they can't cast Dig Through Time for a while. I think we just cast both Soul Scar Mages here. We obviously get extremely punished if they have like Languish or Ritual of Soot or something like that. We just we just lose on the spot, um, and they're really fast tapping these things. And we lose. All right. Well, I played right into that, like I said. Whoops. But yeah, that's the end of the game. I did call it as I was saying it. Um, I was hoping that they were just going to try and like remove one of our creatures. But there's a lot of reasons we shouldn't have played double Soul Scar Mage like Legion's End. Um, yeah, that three for one was pretty devastating. Pretty, pretty devastating. Yeah. Well, yeah, there was really no reason to play the second Soul Scar into Legion's End, Language, Ritual of Soot. Um, just to like hope that they commit a Jace. No, they can't even cast Jace there. Yeah, there was no reason for doing what we did. Whoops. Big time punt. Big time punish. That's how you lose a match of magic though, friends. So in case you were wondering, when you throw it in the trash, you do lose. We're gonna counter this dig through time, but it doesn't much matter. I still can't imagine that we're winning this game. So we could have untapped. Yeah, I'm probably supposed to do that on my turn. Yeah, there's no real reason to do it on my opponent's turn there. Yeah. Yeah, that was just really bad. Double punts this game. Double punts. Woof. Well, when you play really poorly... usually don't win. That's kind of how it goes. It doesn't look like we're going to win. All right. Cool. All right. Hello and welcome to round four with this Is It Prowess deck. Um, we're going to keep this hand. We got turn one Opto Shock and then Dread Horde, hopefully getting us some card advantage. Never mind, we're going to play Monastery of Swift Spear on turn one. Hmm. 
Opponents playing a bunch of temples. Interesting. Not really sure what they're up to. It might be Jeskai Fires. Let me go ahead and throw this Curious Obsession on the Swifty. And I'm going to cast Opt. Get that one point of damage in. Opt dealing a damage is kind of nice. Uh, we do want a third land, I think, here. So let's take that. Pretty much everything's good. We want, like, basically any card. We want creatures, we want lands, we want spells. They're all pretty good. To fairy. All right. Fair enough. Curious Obsession replaced itself already and did three damage. Well, two damage, so pretty solid. Yeah, we're just going to play Arcanist and Swift Spear and kill the Teferi. Fires of Invention. As we suspected, and then Supreme Verdict. Woof. That's not good. Let's try this again. Yeah, why not? I don't think our life total is going to matter too much, so... Holding up shock is like sort of interesting. They might have stomp. They might try to like stomp a soul scar mage here. Narset. They whiffed. They whiffed with Narset, but then they played a chase. Shock Narset twice, I think. Wait, can we kill them? So this is zero and zero. Oh, this being zero is bad, huh? Huh. Interesting. I wonder who gets to stack the triggers. This is actually really interesting. I guess we'll find out. I think because I'm active player, I get to stack it. But it might be that because they're non-active player, theirs goes on the stack first. Or goes on the stack last and resolves first. Is what I mean. So this might not work, but it also might work. <laughs> we'll see when we go to attack. Uh, it's actually really important whether or not it's going to work. Because if it is going to work, we can shock them. I think we're supposed to shock the Narsa either way, so let's do that. And then hopefully kill the Jays.
So this is going to go down to three. We go up to four and we're going to shock Jace, I guess. Oh no, the Jace, the Jace goes on the stack first because non-active player. Ugh, damn it. All right, that's bad. Okay, uh, that's very bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it worked out the way we wanted it, if the rules worked that way, we would probably pretty easily win this game. Well, maybe not. I mean, they could they could have a supreme verdict or something. But in the other case, which is the case that exists, um, we will probably lose this game as we are in a very bad spot with that Jace being still alive. Although it looks like they might just be flooded here otherwise. We also hit a land. We can't deal any damage. We're just gonna pass the turn. Oof. <laughs> yeah, it seems as though our opponent is also flooded. Sometimes you just can't beat a Jace Architect of Thought, you know? So we're kind of on the master list. That's problematic. Well, that was a good draw. That was a really good draw. draw three cards we potentially want to cast them like all of them i think we can leave one well, maybe we want two shocks probably one shock it's not like we're going to be able to cast the things in our graveyard um so let's get rid of most of our things other than like one shock i guess because the Jace for the non-active player is going to make our Dreadhorde have zero power by the time its ability resolves. Um, we found a land and a crash through and a shock. That's pretty good. Found another land. Hmm. So I think we send both at Jace. Yeah. Gotta get that Jace off the board, really. We're not gonna be able to here, 
because those are going to go to three power things. But there's a chance they don't block. I just don't know why they wouldn't block, but there's a small chance they don't block. But the way it stands, they're probably going to block one. We're going to shock the dragon. We're going to eat the dragon. Deal three to Jays. Which isn't bad, but it's not going to get the job done. We're going to need to top deck some more. Some more power stuff. Some more spells, really. Just spells will be great. All oh, right, the trample. Yeah, the trample's nice. I was expecting Jace to be at two, but that's better that it's at one. So they could attack us for eight, <laughs> and they might as well. But if we draw well here and they didn't find anything, which it doesn't seem like they did. They're just super flooded over there. <clears throat> we just need to find a spell. Like shock the Jace, kill the Sarkin, something like that. Something. Opt, yeah, opt's good. That's very good. Bottom that. Oof. We both flooded this game. <laughs> Gonna kill that Jace. Though. So at least we get the Jace off the board. Um, if they find a Fae of Wishes, we're obviously very dead. If they find Supreme Verdict, we're very dead. We did have some good draw steps here to, to find something to deal with this, but it's just so far not happening. If that opt found another spell, even a creature would have been decent, but the land was pretty bad. We uh, we haven't missed a land drop yet, and we are. Well, I guess we missed one land drop. But we only missed one land drop, and we're an eighteen land deck, <laughs> so not ideal. Really, not ideal. But it looks like Dreadhorde Arcanist is going to get to do some stuff next turn which is great we might be able to get this one still finally arcanist gets to cast a spell It's a good draw. Um, interesting. So, I think we want to kill both their planeswalkers here. We'll target Sarkin with this. And then we're going to attack with Soulscar at Sarkin. I mean, Soulscar at uh, Gideon and Dreadhorde at Sarkin. Dreadhorde is going to flashback Shock to kill Gideon. It's 
a little complicated here with all the things on the stack. That one. Pretty sure their hand is two lands, so we're in a decent spot. Not great, but we're we're casting extra spells a turn with Arcanist. With uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist, that is. And uh, if they don't draw something good here... Whoa. Untapped? Oh, they're going to go get Ugin. We're getting ugin Nico Bolas, God Vera. <laughs> Why do they want that land untapped? I'm not I'm not understanding. I guess it didn't matter. That's why they did it. Because it deals seven damage to target opponent. Alright. Well, they found a fave of wishes and we got trounced. Whoops. Um, so, Stainful Stroke seems really good. Spell Pierce seems really good. Obviously bad if they have Teferi in play, but we can hopefully keep Teferi off the board. Um, and then Mystical Dispute seems less good. A Braid doesn't seem very good. Um, Either Sphere Harvester is good against Supreme Verdict, I guess. Scab Clan Berserker seems pretty good here, too. They don't play any creatures, so... This is just going to deal two damage to them every time. It does cost three mana, but... Yeah, it seems kind of good. Treasure Cruise... The game is going to go kind of long, so Treasure Cruise also seems kind of good. Um, hmm. We can probably cut some amount of shocks. As they're not super powerful here. And maybe one of the Curious Obsessions. Let's try that. Uh, we're going to keep this. We got a one drop, we got a crash through. It's not like an amazing hand, but it plays magic. We like playing magic. Um, yeah, maybe we could have cut something else instead of a Curious Obsession, because on the play, Curious Obsession is pretty absurd. And I do a little bit regret it. Maybe we're supposed to trim an opt, or maybe even another shock. But I, I do want some amount of shocks to pressure their Planeswalkers. Wizard's Lightning, huh? I think. Go ahead and crash through first. I guess if we're gonna Wizard's Lightning anyway, let's just do it now. I like, I wanna just cast my spells because we have Treasure Cruise in hand. I just want to get our spells out. So I'm pretty happy to just throw it out there. And if they remove the Soul Scar Mage, Wizard's Lightning costing three is just really not very good. Really inefficient. Hopefully they don't have... Well, if they have Stomp, we have Wild Slash, so I guess Stomp is fine. Either Gust would be bad, though. Again, I just want to use my spells, because we have Treasure Cruise. So I'm just going to cast it. Either guest. 
Omen of the Sea, okay. Whew, I thought that was a gust. I was pretty scared. Yeah, I, I suppose we should have played a land first to at least represent Spell Pierce or Mystical Dispute for Aether Gust rather than just going for the Wild Slash without the third land in play. Should have played the Reef, I think. Let's draw that card. All right. Opponent's at eight, and we've got a treasure cruise in hand with three cards in the yard, so we're almost there to cast it. If we draw any spell next turn, any spell that goes to the graveyard, that is, we'll be able to cast it. Ooh, Narset does really slow down the capabilities of treasure cruise, though. Just turns it off, just... The card has no text if Narset's in play. Wizard's Lightning was a good draw. Oh, they're at nine. Yeah, I'm just going to Lightning down the Narset. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. They can cast Gideon next turn, which is not good, but... We're attacking for five, they're at four. I guess we could have put them to one here. Maybe that would have been better. Yeah, we probably should have put them to one. I was just scared that we won't be able to cast Treasure Cruise. Fires Gideon. Fires Verdict. All right. All right. So if we had put him to one, then we couldn't have drawn cards with Treasure Cruise. Yeah, I think it was better to do it the way we did it. Um, and now we just get to pay one mana for this. Although I suppose we should pay two. And leave a shock in there. Oops. Did that wrong? There we go. Oof. Well, that was terrible. We drew two lands and a Dreadhorde Arcanist. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, that couldn't have been much worse. But at least we're that much closer to our good cards. If they can't remove our Arcanist, they're effectively at two. But we gotta find that last two damage, and we did board out our shocks. Hopefully we don't find like spell pierce now. Spell pierce is really bad now. Oof, yeah. This is actually looking kind of bad. 
We need like Storm Chaser Mage. That would be ideal. Detention Sphere. Okay. All right. Yeah. If we had put them to one, then we just need to draw. Well, then we wouldn't have been able to cast Treasure Crew, so we would have definitely lost. So I think we did the right thing, but... Looks like we're going to lose anyway. Guess we play Soul Scar Mage, why not? Oh, they gained a life. Oh, they have Interplanar Beacon. Damn. All right. They're back to four. Um, we do have reasonable draws here. But I would say we're we're certainly unfavored at the moment. Four four flyer, huh? How do they cast Nickel Bolas without Fires of Invention in play? We haven't seen any any black mana from them. I wonder if they can even cast this without this card in play. <laughs> that seems really bad in their deck, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but we're gonna concede and go to round five. <laughs> That seems really bad. <laughs> okay. Hello and welcome to round five. We've got a hand with four lands, a Swiss spear, a crash through, and a wizard's lightning. I'm gonna mulligan. We don't have a wizard, and four lands is too many. All right, we'll keep this one. And I think I'm going to bottom light up the stage. All right, so it's mono black aggro. I think we're just gonna shock that. It obviously comes back, which is not ideal. We're not gonna let them attack with it because if we do, they'll be able to return it. I assume that our Arcanist is going to die, but if they don't have a Fatal Push, then the 1-3 body is really good here. They're going to Swift End. Yeah, that makes sense.
Wizards of Lightning. It's kind of good. A killing murderous rider, but we really need threats. Oof. I don't know. Oh no. Hmm. So in this matchup, I suppose we bring in more removal and the harvesters, potentially scions, probably not. Probably treasure crews, two abrades, two reckless rage, two ether spheres, cut the curious obsessions. Yeah. Obviously sucks to kill their creature that comes back. Obviously really, really bad, but um, we're just going to concede here and go to the next game. Let's see. We've got Treasure Cruise coming in. Spell Pierce, probably not good enough. But yeah, I think we want these seven cards and we want to cut potentially all of these. The shocks aren't that good, honestly. Yeah, maybe the shocks can get trimmed. Yeah, they're just not that good. Like, killing um, Knight of the Evan Legion is really good, but their other one drops are just not worth shocking. Huh. So we have a prowess creature, we have arcanist, we only have one land, we don't have any blue, gonna mulligan, gonna keep this one, gonna bottom um, the mountain, no we only have six blue cards, ten blue cards in our deck, I guess it's possible we'll want two blue sources. But I'd rather just have our lands come in untapped, I think. Because we're likely just going to cast this crash through here. We want it in the graveyard for Treasure Cruise. We want it in the graveyard for Dread Horde. And we also want to see what we get. And we want to have two mana up next turn for Arcanist. Thoughts ease. Took the Arcanist, makes sense. Um, gonna go ahead and opt. Gonna leave that on top because we do want to get the Ether Sphere Harvester into play. Another Thoughtseize. Ouch. All right, we got a lot of removal, so it's gonna be hard for them to stick a threat. 
Although a lot of their threats are pretty sticky. Agonizing remorse. Wow. Probably take Wizard's Lightning. Let's top that. And we can't quite cast it right now, but we can cast it next turn. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Um, I think we just untap. Draw three cards. Maybe I'm supposed to just play the mountain and pass and hope that they go for the pump on their turn. Yeah, swift end. Another night. You know, pump. I hope they pump, actually. So I'll have two, two, threes. Then if we draw a land, we can kill them both. That'd be big. If we draw an untapped source, we can kill both of them. Damn. All right, um, let's get this into play. Yeah, if we had played that differently and played the Spire Bluff Canal tapped last turn, we would have been able to kill both. Um, certainly is rough, but, um, I think we want to abrade this turn so that next turn we can reckless rage. And we're not blocking, so we're going to attack. Yeah, I think we're still in a pretty good spot. Unless they find a removal spell off the top right here or off the locked lane activation, which they're probably going to do. I mean, playing the Murderous Rider is fine, but I think it's better for them to dig for... Oh, no, they're just going to pump. I guess they can pump and play Murderous Rider, so yeah, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, that makes... Tons of sense. They also just might not play anything. Yeah, that's also pretty good. That's even better, actually. That's well played from our opponent. Knight of the Evan Legion, really powerful card. Another Reckless Rage. Well, that allows us to kill it. I'd rather do it on their turn. Well, no, I'd rather do it on our turn deals more damage yeah let's do it so they're gonna pump we're gonna respond with another one attack for four
think we want to play that land tap because we have another treasure cruise in our deck. So they can activate Lockthwain and play Murderous Rider now. Ooh, another Murderous Rider. And we bricked. Damn. All right, well, looks like we went one and four. Um, pretty rough. This deck seems like it would be pretty decent, but we did not do very well. I do think I punted the match against Inverter in game three, but the rest of it, I think we played reasonable, just uh, didn't pan out. Ugh. Well, darn. Let's do a little deck tech. So this is, is it prowess? Um, we went one and four. But it seems like this deck can be pretty decent. I, I copied it off of a 4-1 list from a Pioneer Preliminary um, and changed a couple cards because a couple cards just looked kind of weird, like Goblin Chain Whirler as a one-of just seemed strange to me. It's obviously a powerful card, but I felt like a fourth Arcanist would be better. Um, drawing multiple Arcanists was a little awkward, though, and maybe maybe they played a lot more <laughs> with this deck than I have the people or whoever it was that uh, posted that deck list. Um, but uh, yeah, the 18 lands did actually seem okay. Really what's going on here is, all right, so let me start over. Here's the deck tech for Is It Prowess. So we got 18 lands, all of them tap for red, because uh, most of our deck is trying to tap, uh, trying to trying to have red mana. Um, one red casts most of the spells in our deck. We're playing three Curious Obsession, which are great to throw on our one drops and even our two drops and get some damage in. Draw some cards. Um, we have Treasure Cruise to draw some more cards. Light of the Stage to draw some more cards. And Crash Through and Opt also to like trigger Prowess and draw cards. Um, it plays out pretty similar to the Prowess deck in Modern, where you've got um, Crash Through, Lightning Bolt, uh, Lava Dart, that kind of thing. But in, in, in Pioneer, you don't get Lava Dart. Um, but we're, we're swapping out Dreadhorde Arcanist for Bedlam Reveler, and we're playing Storm Chaser Mage and some blue cards to try and fill out the curve a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a red-blue prowess deck. It's trying to beat our opponent down in one big turn, generally, and we're playing a ton of shocks to try and get that job done real quick. Uh, and then Wizards Lightning, we have, we have eight, uh, 12 Wizards in the deck, so it's going to be turned on quite a bit of the time it's just going to be lightning bolt so that's pretty cool and in our sideboard we've got some spell pierce disdainful stroke those are going to come in against fires of invention against uh any sort of uh deck that's concentrating on, on non-creature spells and spells that cost four or more which is quite a few like inverter has jace and inverter and dig through time so this is a pretty big one uh, obviously mystical dispute against any blue deck Treasure Crew is coming in against any deck with a lot of removal or just like grindy decks in general. We want more ac more access to card draw. So something like that comes in. Also against decks with a lot of removal and that are trying to grind you, you're, you're going to want to probably bring in Royal Scions. Um, against creature decks, we're going to bring in Reckless Rage, Abraid, and Aether Sphere Harvester most of the time. And then against... Uh, like control and combo, we're going to bring in Scab Clan Berserker to try and uh, make our opponent pay the two damage tax to cast any non creature spells. Pretty good. Um, but yeah, the deck uh, didn't perform that well, but overall, I think it's doing a pretty powerful thing. And it's kind of fun to be able to play with Treasure Crews outside of a, a Phoenix deck. Um, that was my first league with it. I'm sure if I played a few more leagues, I could probably get more used to it and maybe do a little better. 
I certainly punted at least one match there. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think the deck is pretty good. Um, definitely pretty fun if you like messing around with prowess creatures. And um, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out, y'all. This was Is It Prowess? If you're watching Pioneer with Ponce here on tcgplayer.com. If you're looking for any of these cards, um, you can pick them up on the website. So just search them up in your search bar and you'll find them in no time flat. Uh, really excited about jamming some more Pioneer for y'all next week. There's going to be Ikoria live. Um, I'll probably be playing with some Ikoria cards um, next week. So can't wait to check that out and try that out. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see y'all next time.